Let's go ahead and talk about this rather um, surprising news, I will say. It's very, very surprising to see um, this player on the trade block. Again, was not expecting to see Giannis, of all people, um, to be in trade conversations. Now, this isn't like, this isn't a joke. This isn't like um, a just a random um, fan online speculating. There is actual... There are actual articles that are talking about the possibility of Giannis getting traded. Not to mention the fact that Giannis himself said that there was a possibility that he would get traded from the Bucks. He said it himself. And now, um, with the start of the Milwaukee Bucks in their season, there are some people that think that there's um, some circling, um, circling tension between the Bucks and Giannis, as well as um, the possibility that he could get traded. So, according to this article, the header of this article is Bucks' Giannis is linked to the Heat net by Insider Team's Circle. So, we're going to go ahead and read what the rest of this article has to say. Now, NBA executives say there is an anticipation growing around the league that Milwaukee Bucks star Giannis Antetokounmpo could be traded this season. Teams are circling and hopeful. An anonymous executive of the Western of a Western Conference team told CBS Sports Bill Ryder. Another NBA executive told Ryder that they wouldn't be surprised if an Anadokounmpo trade happened by the February 8th trade deadline. A th third executive for an Eastern Conference team said they have heard Anadokounmpo's preferred trade destinations would be the Miami Heat or the Brooklyn Nets. In other words, he might be pulling a Kevin Durant, <laughs> where he joins the team that um, beat him. Because, you know, the Miami Heat, they usually tend to beat the Milwaukee Bucks most of the time in the postseason. Not all the time, but sometimes. And it's very, very shocking to see Giannis, of all people, on the trade block. I mean, he's an MVP caliber player, and he is the sole re one of the main reasons why the Bucks are um, so, so good and why the Bucks have been good for the longest time. So seeing him on this trade block is rather questionable, and I really don't understand why these talks are even like taking place. Like this is something that I really, genuinely did not expect at all. Um, especially now he's averaging 28 points per game, 11 rebounds through the Bucks's one and three starts in this season. Yes, the Bucks are one and three. They are one of the bottom teams in the Eastern Conference. I don't really expect that to be the case through the entirety of the season, but given how Doc Rivers has been absolutely abysmal as the coach of the Milwaukee Bucks, maybe it's a good thing that he gets traded, but I, I digress. The Bucks they open up their season with Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard combining for 55 points in a win over the Philadelphia 76ers. It's Strong performance coming in from Anadokounmpo in that matchup and Lillard, but they haven't been enough to really save the Bucks from three straight losses since that one win this season. And the two stars most recently combined for 63 total points in a loss to the Boston Celtics on Monday, losing 119 to 108. And after they expressed frustration about the Bucks' lack of identity after last Sunday's loss to Brooklyn, Anadokounmpo shared a more optimistic perspective when speaking to reporters following the next day's loss of the Celtics. At the end of the day, we have a great team. I believe we will keep on playing better, learning from our mistakes. Um, and Anadokounmpo said, eventually we are going to start winning games. I don't think we are far off. I do not care about the record. I care about, ke I care about keep on building people, being healthy, and get where we want to get. And after the Bucks suffered their... Um, second straight first round exit from the playoffs last season, despite their trade for Damian Lillard last September, the pressure is on Milwaukee to make a much deeper playoff run in order to keep both him and Anadokounmpo bought into the franchise's hopes for repeating their 2021 title run. And Heat star Jimmy Butler um, is also potentially entering the free agency market following this season after declining his 2025-2026 player option, although previous reports indicate that Miami has little interest in trading him. Nets forward Cam Johnson has also been the subject of trade rumors amid the franchise's focus to acquiring draft stock. Now, should Milwaukee continue to, continue to flounder about and um, the Bucks consider trading onto the Kumpo? 
those names would be likely to come up in discussions of a possible deal with either team, which I think is absolutely egregious. I mean, you'd have to give up a lot of pieces in order to get me to trade Giannis on Kumpo. I think that from an individual standpoint, Giannis is the second best NBA player in the league right now. Again, just right now. And um, I don't think there's anyone else aside from Jokic who's better than him. He has the scoring. He has the rebounding. He has the offensive production. He even has the defensive production. He can guard on the ball and off the ball. He has practically everything that you would expect to have in an, in an all-star caliber player. Everything that you would need in an all-star caliber player. It would take a lot to get me personally to trade him. And... I have no idea how um, solid these rumors are going to end up being, but anything can happen in today's league. And really, the maybe the rumors are just um, like, you know, they're just rumors to throw people off or something like that. That might be something that people that rumors try to do. It, it could tend it might be that way. I mean, there were several Cavs rumors and um, drama going on over the offseason about how they wanted to split up their team. Yet here the Cavaliers are, um, and they still haven't lost a single game. More on them later. But there was a whole bunch of drama going on in the offseason, but they've somehow really turned that, they turned that around and turned that, flipped that on their heads. And they've turned this season into, so far, a very shocking season, opening up the season completely flawless. Like, I expected the Celtics would be the only flawless team remaining left in this league, but it turns out that one of those teams is the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that's very, very impressive to say the least, considering all the attention that they were getting from in the offseason and all the attention that they were getting in wanting to trade um, some of their players and wanting to try and rebuild on something. It doesn't really seem like that's really the case now. And who knows where these trade rumors are going to end up um, going and how far they're going to be able to carry on with this um with the team and with the rest of the season because again the trade deadline is around february 8th i believe and if it's it's a really long time until then so anything can happen if the bucks don't end up winning some of these games i wouldn't be surprised but the first move I would make if the Bucks keep losing these games is getting rid of Darvin Ham and getting rid of Doc Rivers. I'm sorry that coaching tandem is abysmal. It is not something that wins games. It's not something that you want on your team. It holds the team back, in my opinion, and I think those should be the... Um, the people that you should get rid of before even thinking of getting rid of Giannis Antetokounmpo. Like, not to mention, this would have if they do get rid of Giannis Antetokounmpo, then this trade for Damian Lillard would have been considered a waste. I mean, Damian Lillard left Portland Trail, well, didn't really leave, but he requested a trade from the Blazers because he wanted to finally compete for a title. And now here is his chance to compete for the title, and this, the best player on the team is now in rumors to getting traded. He's going to be back in square one. Like, it would have been as if Dame had never left Portland to begin with, and he would still be stuck on a rather mediocre team where that he has to perform well in order for them to even do anything in the postseason or beyond that or in the regular season. And he's, he's not the caliber, he's not that kind of player that can lead a dominant postseason run. I'm sorry to say this. I know he's a pretty, a lot of people like really have him for being one of the more clutch players in the NBA. He does have that clutch reputation, but he's a terrible defender. And this is one of the many reasons why Portland has been unable to do anything in the postseason with Dame outside of 2019. And again, that's really, that they almost lost, early, they almost lost in the second round if it wasn't for CJ McCollum being such a clutch shooter and I'm um, closing the game out when they could. But again, this is very shocking seeing him on the trade block. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think that Giannis would get traded before the trade deadline? Do you think that they'll stick with him throughout the entirety of the season? Do you think this is all just rumors and speculation? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. But it's all that I have for this first segment. So now we're going to go ahead and go into the second segment where I talk about Scotty Barnes and um, his injury with the Toronto Raptors in the most recent game 
that he played, I believe it was against the 76ers. I didn't really cover that because I didn't have much information on it. So I'll be right back after this short break. So be sure to stay tuned. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign, a sign. I wanna be the greatest. Everybody on the fake shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't need shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place, all this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it. The noose, if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip. You choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. 